side of whales. I'm kind of surprised it doesn't happen more often. I mean, it does not take much for a whale to not capsize a boat. So <laughs> I could swallow a car for years. I've been saying I'm scared of whales. People are like, really? Why? Look how big they are. Because you think they're going to swallow your car? I'm just saying it could. No, I don't think it would. I'm just saying they're that big. Like, that could have swallowed that boat. It's like could Sharknado, but whale NATO. Blue whale? <laughs> they eat the car. I'm just Blue wondering whales? where you've been driving. That's all. <laughs> I'm just saying it could swallow like a boat, but you know, you get my well. point, right? I am. I am glad <laughs> everyone's okay. All right, let's talk about our weather and things are going to return to kind of normal summer pattern for the afternoon tomorrow and stay that way for Friday, Saturday and into Sunday. We had some strong storms earlier today. Those have since faded away and we're going to start off tomorrow morning dry. What to expect? Well, a southeasterly wind will put that afternoon sea breeze closer to the coastlines. Isolated showers to start. We will have some scattered storms along 41 and 75, but a little bit later on in the day. So we have all afternoon to kind of heat up. It's going to be a little bit hotter than it was today simply because the storms hold off and there's not as many. So not as much cloud, not as much rain, cold air will stay into the mid 90s tomorrow. This is 530 isolated showers still around the region becoming more scattered between six and eight o'clock by 830. We have some downpours around parts of Charlotte Harbor, Cape Coral, Fort Myers, Iona, also into Estero Bay, and then they'll begin to fade away as the evening goes on. Thursday, a repeat performance with those southeast winds putting the sea breeze right along the coastlines and isolated showers to start becoming a little bit more scattered by six to seven o'clock. That later start and a later finish. We had a kind of earlier start today with all the moisture in place. It was easy for those storms to kind of fire up. As far as severe weather is concerned, nothing out of the ordinary over the next few days. Rain should move. Those storms should be on the move, so we're not going to be dealing with stationary storms. That should make any uh, temporary flooding concerns a little bit lower for the next few days. That trend along the coastlines for the afternoon will carry on through the weekend. We don't have any changes in our forecast because we're stuck in the summer pattern this time of year to kind of get out of that summer pattern, July or August. You need some type of tropical system to head away and we don't have anything headed our way. We like that. Nothing to develop either. We do see a little bit of convection here, but there's just too much dry air with some Saharan dust to really deal with uh, any development. Let's talk about the opening ceremonies on Fridays. Paris is six hours ahead of us uh, on Friday night along the Sun River. 71 degrees, a slight chance of an isolated shower, uh, but it won't last for too long. The better rain chance does arrive first thing Saturday morning. This is Paris time here, 830 in the morning on Saturday. So any outdoor events on Saturday morning could have a little bit of rain associated with them. Temperatures are pretty manageable until they head into next Tuesday. It gets a little bit warmer coming up throughout the week. We'll talk more about the climate in Paris and how those temperatures are going to impact uh, some of the games. Temperatures tonight will stay into the upper 70s first thing tomorrow morning, more of the same. 94 by the afternoon. We are here to stay in our summer pattern as we round out the last week of July. I can't believe July is almost over. Uh, as we head into next week, we'll stay into the low 90s. No tropical developments headed our way for the next seven to 10 days. That's your first alert forecast.